the sooner you get that industry mentality away, yeah. you'll see the world, bro. Like, because the industry is gonna limit you. Okay, this is what 100%. the industry is. This is what you can do. You know, this is what we can do for you, mm. and you're just gonna work towards that. So I think like the consistency in in, in presenting your art to the universe is important because you don't know Up who's there. watching. You know, Up, and Up the there. consistency behind it, bro. That one like that could be. From a big name, bro. That could be Ramaphosa. I'll be like, hey, my bro. <laughs> Chad, I love this video you shot. Come work for me. The sooner you realize that you good at what you do, yeah, or you whack at what you do, yeah, the better. Because mm. there's a lot of artists that is putting in so much work, making amazing music, and asking themselves, yo, why am I not? You know. Mm. And so it doesn't end there. I think like the work ethic is out the studio. So what you do with 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 your art is. It's up to you. It's up to you, B. It's up to you, B. We began as an open mic. Young creatives simply wanting to express ourselves. As we supported each other, we started to witness the greatest within. And without knowing, we grew into a talent hub. As we began to detail our craft, we found the courage to share our gift with the world. From merchandise to the sold out theatre productions. To all the amazing people we met and collaborated with along the way. The process of creating art helped us overcome our fears. By teaching us the power of art. We are here to tell you. 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 It's possible. 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 I'm Chad Isaacs and this is Ro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest in the house tonight. This man is an artist. This man is a DJ. This man is a humanitarian. This man is a fashion designer. This man is a producer. Jack of all trades. Master of some. <laughs> Master of all. Just a, <laughs> just a <good> job. <laughs> My brother. Uh, the king of the drums. Mr. Envy Funk. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, brother. Appreciate you. Master of all trades. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know. Listen, I'll show all in the car. We have a whole podcast going here. Lekker. Shout out, guys. Lekker. Listen, brother, you've come Yo. a long way. Hey, I'm so proud it? of you, first and foremost. <clears throat> you know, witnessing you from the start. 19 years of age. <laughs> fresh. Oh, I yes. thought you said I'm 19 years yeah, in no. doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've seen you like from the age of 19, you know, um, as an up-and-coming DJ. And then to right. where you are now is like a full-on entrepreneur with so much distinctions 100%. under your belt. I have probably one of the most insane work ethics that I really admire. Where does this all come from? Bro, we started in your bedroom. You remember? <laughs> Guys, before they had all the studios and all these fancy stuff. Cameras and all that. They were in Chad's bedroom. And Respect. That's actually where we recorded music the firstly. first, yeah. Um, so shout out to, to Tight, Josh, <laughs> um, and G. So yeah. Respect. Oh, where did it all start? Bro, probably like high school, I was in matric. Um, and then, like I always used to DJ, bro, to be honest with you. <clears throat> all my life, like, not all my life, but like growing up in a music mm. family and like, I think like, um, house music has always been an, an, a part an, of you yeah attractive part in my life like even growing up in high school because I used to be as we lamin in my bedroom I'm the one <clears throat> on tractor Quite. playing music to my friends Lekker. and you can actually phone them now and ask them bro like we speak about this today still so <clears throat> started off so music has always been like the art of DJ and I really always wanted to do it and yeah like I uh, spoke to my parents and this is coming from, like, a spiritual home, um, which I'm also spiritual. I'm not saying I'm not spiritual, but, like, coming from, like, um, mm. where Jesus is, Jesus is, like, the pillar. The focus. And, mm. yeah, um, your son wants to become a DJ, you know. And shout out to my parents for, like, giving me the opportunity to do what I want. <clears throat> I went to go study at Soul Candy. This is, like, while I was in matric. And that's where I basically um, mastered my craft um, as a DJ, but I, do I need to like speak on how No, I, no, of course, bro. And how I did the drums I think, thing. I think do I need to go on like oh, 100%. 100%. Oh. <clears throat> so yeah, um Soul Candy. So 2012 uh went to Soul Candy to actually um Study. To perfect the mm. art of DJing. Um I was there for like 6 months and yeah was groomed, polished and yeah, so like the week before we actually graduated, Crazy White Boy. I don't know if you guys know mm. them. 
I'm sure everyone knows yeah. Crazy White Boy. So <clears throat> they doped you up. And they were like explaining how they um, do what they do and being different to all these artists and DJs out there. So I was like, yo, bro, like I really took that to art because they were like, yo, there's a billion, probably like there's a billion DJs out there. What is going to like um, make you different to all these guys? So I was like, and, they, and there's one thing that, that caught my attention. Yeah, I was like, um, they use their talents to their advantage in life. And I was like, bro, <clears throat> I'm born, bred, musician, drummer. And, um, sorry for the, <laughs> I get a bit nervous, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> I saw that church, man, you know, whenever the preacher talk. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> 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 Showing what the signs do we sound, guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. It's, it's, you know, when I'm nervous, it's a slight... Okay. It, yeah, mm. but that's what I'm saying. That that, that basically caught my... my, my, my Attention. That, yeah. yeah. And I use my talents to my advantage in life. And that's bro. where so, the drums came so in. So that's where the drums... I was DJing for a year, though. Mm. So, like, I had to hustle my way. And then... I got rejected, bro. Like, I remember, like, we were in Soul Candy. We came with an air away... Um, like, it wasn't, like, really the internet that time. We must put your mixes out in, on, like, SoundCloud and yeah, everyone yeah, knows yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like, we need, like, physically do a mix, get it on a CD, and go to, like, bars, restaurants, and, like, yo, yeah. listen to this. Can I actually come play here? Uh, cool. Or, you know? So you were, like, the last mm, generation. We were the last, last of yeah. that, basically. I remember myself That's and cool. my friend Darren. Um, so one day I was like, yo, bro, I'm taking this mix, and we I put it, like, 50 of it, like, bro, we're going to town now. So he was older, of course, so he knew, okay, what is the hot yeah. spots in town? Because they mm. were clubbing back then. And then, bro, we were going all these bars, and folks were like, nah, they have DJs, blah, blah, blah. So we went Greenpoint out. I was like, bro, because back then, like, um, Zaw was yeah. on TV. So I always knew Zaw was in Greenpoint and Kenny Cornelia. I was like, bro, we just try here, bro. I don't know if we're going to get in here, we just go in here. Quite. Funny enough, so we had Zars Gates with a CD and like um, the manager lets us in. He's in behind the bar. He's like cleaning some. He's working on some cocktails. He's like, yo, go play that mix, man. So this is the first guy that actually like let us into like, and then like not even like 10 minutes in, he's like, um, are you available Thursday night? Yeah. And Crazy. I'm like, I'm like Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> um, what do I need to do? <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna give you a guest list of like 30 people. Wow. Um, come through and jam, bro. And ever since that, so I was, so I was Massive. at Zaw. Because mm. that time it was a big thing, like, like for me, 100%. coming from where I'm coming and now playing at the club, where what I see, I see on TV, you know. Why? And shout out to that. Was his, his name was Viron. He gave yeah. me the opportunity, and then 100%. he always believed in me, and then. Ever since that, bro. So I was DJing for a year. So I was like, nah, B, it's not enough. Mm. Like, I'm I'm doing this in my sleep. I'm losing that, you know? Yeah. That love for it. So when I added the drums, bro. It was just a whole <laughs> other dynamic. B, we found, get me in this camera. We called this bar in, um, I think it was Eostrophy, deep in the cast in the wood. <laughs> we knew this lady that owned the bar there. We was like, yo, Envy Funk, yeah. This is what I do. Can I come through? You don't need to pay me. Shop. So I got bongos in a crash. <laughs> pulled it out there. Still took the, cha- uh, the church stand. The crash stand. <laughs> like, nah, B, we take this thing. Got that. I hope he replaced it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, definitely. Time seven. <laughs> That's what the Bible says. Yeah, quite, 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 quite. So, yeah, I mean, bro, like, I was like one song in and we just saw all these phones coming out. Dope. Ever since that day, and you now nah, I'm gone. I have something here, and then just yeah, I am, me. and I'm still a student to the game. I'm, I'm still want to learn. I still, yeah, I st- mm. like still love what I do. So. And I think that's like <laughs> that's like you in a nutshell, bro. And that's what I respect and I love about you is like you, you, you like create your own luck, man. You, <laughs> you put yourself out there. You're not scared to try different things. And I think that's what the 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 artist out there, maybe of the new generation, is lacking, man. Like, they are not understanding that there is this period of growth um, when you are introduced into the industry where you kind of need to knock on doors. You kind of need to struggle, you 100%, know? 100%, 100%. I think, like, um, we're also living in, in a society um, where peop- every, like, um, the generation now is, like, expects thing. they expect things to be given to them, yeah. you know? And... 
I'm, I'm so grateful for the fact that I know that we I actually need to go out there and work for what I have. 100%. <clears throat> and I feel like the industry also, like, um, musicians, creators, from everything from fashion to music to whatever, like, I always say nothing is going to... Um, Fall into your lap. Bro, like, you need to work for your, you know? And, and you I, appreciate it more, I think, when you have to work for it. 100%. And I feel like the industry is, is, is in that league because they expect people. Mm. Okay, cool. You you dope? You talented? Okay, you need to be booked. Nah, bro. Your talent is only going to be in those that far. So, 100%. the work, the work, you need to put in the work 100%. So, so that's, I think that's a great topic to discuss. Like, <coughs> as in, so, so you like this, um, let's take it 21 year old. Um, so now you've been in the industry for a few years. You've made connections. You've mm. knocked on doors. You sort of established. How do you not fall into you know a lot of artists fall into that sort of trap of just being content i'm content just at playing at this local bar Yo, this local cafe for sure how do you you know stay motivated to go to greener pastures sure. bro like to be honest with you like i'm so grateful like i think uh we've mentioned this in yeah. the office before we're having conversations i think like to build any house you need a foundation and and if that if the if if that driven aspect is not placed in that cement in your foundation, you're gonna stick to the bars. Yeah. You're gonna stick to these Pubs, local yeah. stuff, and you're you, never gonna get. Yeah, you, you 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 happy with getting this and that every week. So the foundation is really important, and I think that I'm grateful for the fact that I went to like Soul Candy, so I got yeah. like the info that yes. you need to do this. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, yeah. you need to actually like. Um, build your foundation solidly to you know so I think like the driven aspect is, is very important especially in Cape Town we don't have many there's a lot of people that want to do great things but mm. the mentality yes. you know yes. is the pubs is the and, and I think no offense to the no, pubs and the bars yes, yes. Um, they I'd, play a role bro, they play a role of course I'd, I'd do a gig yeah. anyway but unfortunately, we have the procedure, the professionalism yeah. of yeah. doing things a certain way, and not just calling. Percent. Okay, yeah, yes. after you kick, yes, sharp. 100%. So I think like this is, is a this 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 a different aspect to things. But the driven, having that that mm. that, that, that driven aspect, you know, because you need to have that goal that if you you're always gonna think yeah. the ball, <laughs> yeah, the, exactly, you're gonna stay there forever. Exactly. Why is in this ball on the phone? Exactly, because, bro. If you're gonna be worried about that, exactly. and you know your goals need to be 100%. set. So, yeah. And I think just to clarify for the viewers out there, man, what we're talking, we're not talking about people that are happy to play the bars. No, we we we're talking about the people that are complaining about not playing. At the stadiums, you know, overseas. Yeah, 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 you sure. know what I mean? So if you're happy and just content playing <coughs> at the bars and that makes you a better person, bro. we're cool with that. But when you start complaining but you don't want to put in the work, those are and the sort bro, of artists and creators we're talking that's about. That's actually a good point, bro. Like, I know someone that is happy playing the bars, playing the, the pubs and the small gigs. He's happy, bro. Dope. And I love that. Dope. He doesn't... He Respect. doesn't, he's not hating on anyone that's up there. Quiet. He's happy. Quiet. So, bro, like, I know someone like that, and I think it's amazing that that if that is his goal, you know, if, if yeah. bro, like, that's I'm just going to be happy if someone else is happy doing what he does. Yeah. So, we can't, we, we, we can't hate on that, on, on, on that fact. So, mm. but there is a lot of people that, that are discriminating or, or showing some sort of anger. animosity. Not Dude, being yeah, on the big stages yeah, yeah, and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then, then we can actually have, have this a conversation. conversation. Yeah. 100%. Because I think at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, like, you need to be... You need to understand, like, what it's going to take to get to that level. It doesn't... Yeah. It doesn't, like we said, it doesn't fall on your, hap, on your lap. It takes serious work, hard, hard work, determination, perseverance, failure. 100%. Everything. So, so if you're not willing to put yourself out there to knock on doors, you know, to fail, to, to, to lose money, to lose time, to lose energy, to sacrifice, then you can't complain about not no, for being sure. on those platforms. For sure. And I also think it comes to talent, bro. Um, like, I have, I'm not a hater or anything, but I feel like um, a lot of people also have the luck on their side, knowing yeah. The right people. Yeah. But you talent is so important, mm. but it's not enough, you know? Mm. And I feel like a lot of people that is considered whack, 
You know, and the talent, oh, that's yeah. why he's hating. Like, why is that bra on? And mm. why is this person doing that? But um, what I was getting at is, if you're whack, you're whack. Unfortunately, if you, um, I feel that in any in any business or you're not gonna get a job at a call center if you can't talk. <laughs> Agreed. So if you're whack, bro, you're whack. In, in, and unfortunately, that is just the sad truth. If you're whack, you're whack. And I feel like um, the, um, the guys that's yeah. really talented and and that is putting in the work, I think it, it, it's not, it, it doesn't stop in studio, bro. Mm. Because mm. there's a lot of artists that is putting in so much work, making amazing music and asking themselves, yo, why am I not, you know? Mm. And so it, it doesn't end there. I think like, the work ethic is out the studio also. Yeah. I think that, I mean, from having a studio, like, I can tell you um, what I've noticed. What I've noticed is people spend serious time, money, and energy on studios, right? Um, and that's important because you want to create a dope product. Fair enough. But I think to be successful, you have to understand that any business needs a good administration team, right? Need good finance. They need good people <coughs> to make good decisions, strategic decisions, tactical decisions, very, very knowledgeable pe people of the game. Mm. Now, that comes after the track is done. That comes from the marketing guys. Yeah. That comes from the distributing guys. That comes from the PR guys. That comes from the media team. So when you realize that you're probably going to have to put double the energy double the time, maybe even double the money on, on, on what you spent, uh, you know, just for the track in studio, then you're on the right path. You can't rely just on the track itself to sell itself. 100%, but I think it's also like, I always, what I always preach is research, bro. Like, if you know me, like, I speak research, I think that knowledge is power, bro. Despite your talent and all that, I think like, Get into, like, if me and you be opening a puppy on the corner, what <laughs> yeah. am I, I always tell you this, yeah, what yeah. am I going to do every single day knowing that there's the same puppy selling the same product mm. next to me? What am I going to do that making sure that Chad <laughs> and Anna comes to my shop yeah. every day yeah. and not to yours? Yeah. So I think the, the, the research and knowledge is important. Like, knowing the, getting to know the industry, doing your research, knowing where the money is, going there and growing there. That's most important. 100%. So, that. yeah, bro, I think knowledge... A lot of a lot of um, creatives, entrepreneurs, musicians, whatever artists, they lack the knowledge. The, they lack the research. Talent is there, sharp. You're amazing, mm. but you know, yes, financially, you know, you need 100%. to think businessly in this game. And you I need, think you need to be a bully, bro. Yeah, I understand. And, and that mentality of 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 finding um, the financial solutions to your art, your business, whatever, it comes through research and knowledge. So, 100%. Yeah. 100%. And I think what we're talking about is that, you know, just not relying on your talent. Your, ta your talent, you know, people gravitate towards talented people, <laughs> you know. 100%. Oh, you, you know, when you reach any form of success or fame in this industry, you'll get very, very important people or gatekeepers or uh, entrepreneurs who are very successful gravitate towards you. Now, what's important about that is you have access to these people. And when you have access to these people, you have access to their knowledge. And when you have access to, these n to their knowledge, that is gold. And when you start seeing things beyond your talent mm. and start, you know, just using your talent to open the doors and create the relationships, 100%. that's what it's all about. So I think that's what you, you're kind of talking about. And it's a great segue to the next question. How do artists bridge the gap between corporate brands mm. and just their own personal brands? Yeah, bro, that, that, is, that is a huge thing, especially in our city. <clears throat> the money and the talent. Um, I was I'm grateful enough to like <laughs> to have sat in like these boardrooms with these brands and you know me and my team um, doing work with these brands and just just knowing like and seeing the lack of their mm. knowledge, the guys who actually have the money, and to the talent that's on the bro, on the you'll side. be you'll, you'll be surprised. Tell us about these conversations. You'll, Tell us about you'll these meetings. You'll be surprised, meetings. bro. Like. Like, me and my team, we sat there um, in, in some meeting and we were like, wow, bro, is that it? Is that all you know? You know? Like, and like, like, what's shocking. the... What's the... I'm not, not going to mention names, No, no, but course. like, yeah, like, just like, what like, was... Just like, like, shocking, bro. Like, what was the, what was the essence like we, of the conversation? We, we, you don't we, need to mention that, names. We that's on the street. Yeah. That, that we know the amazing yeah. videographers, photographers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, artists, DJs that's exactly. popping on yeah, the streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the guy who's sitting in the... In, in the in, buildings. Bro, he doesn't know 
What's so What's all he's hearing is okay. What's on the radio? What's on my radio? Mm. Oh, I see you. We need to get and we like you know, what's happening up here is a whole different ball game to what's happening here. You know? And there's that that that, that artist that's pulling thousand five hundred people on these shows, but you're gonna go for someone that has a just a song yes. on, on the radio, you know? Mm. So the bridge between where the money is and the talent is is huge. In our city. Mm. Um it's huge. And I think like that's again we are come we are come to the point of the knowledge and research. The brand is never gonna care about what's happening on the streets. This is the guy in the in the, in the, in, the, in the seat who has the power, has the money, blah blah blah. He doesn't know what's happening on the streets. Mm. So all he does is he's in his office, yeah, switches on the radio. Oh wow, Chad Isaacs, mm. I hear you. Every day, one the song play every day. Oh, I love this guy. So when we actually have in the events mm. and these brand campaigns, so who's the first guy on the board? Chad Isaac, why? Because I, mm. I hear him on the radio. So they so have we no clue. So sitting there mm. as, as say the bridge, and be like, damn, B, is this? This like, all they know. Don't you know thingy? What you call it? Majuki, blah blah. And they're like, nah, who's this? But this is the same guy who's attracting 1,500 people to his shows. Um, Crazy. His social platforms are booming. He's Crazy. doing amazing work. But financially, he's not. The mm. guy with the money doesn't know him. So I think, mm. uh, coming back to my point of research and knowledge, that guy is never going to look for you, bro. He's never going to look for you. So what are you going to do? To get his attention. Not to get his attention. To get there, to the money. 100%. That's what I'm saying. Research... Knowledge is your main win in like any business, bro. Um, knowing where the money is, doing the research, and I'm saying like the work and knowledge is like brands. Okay, cool, shop, calling them. Who do we speak to? How do we, you know? And yeah. that's how you get into their face. Now that's the work ethic that unfortunately our people lack, bro. Is that that effort um, of wanting to get to where the money so, is? So my next question is then just. Just sort of like a, a segue into the last one is how then how did Envy Funk as a brand get it attention for, for, for people who, who might not know who Envy Funk is, this man has toured internationally. This man has toured to so much different countries around Africa, you know, from 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 starting out just in Cape Town, you know, a local boy. And and that's why I'm so proud of you, brother. But so so the question is, then is how did you manage to bridge that gap? Bro, and the thing is like the funny thing is we're still doing this work every day. Like, I practice what I preach. I, I won't be saying this if I'm not doing it every day, bro. I think, like, as I'm saying, the work ethic, bro. Um, doing our research, going there, growing there. And I feel like also, like, the consistency of of, of your art. Bro, you don't know who's who's watching you. That's the, that's, that, that is the, that's how I got yeah. on, bro. People actually seeing me besides knowing me, like, yeah. 90% of my my shows that I get is like Oaks probably seen me on the internet. Quiet. You know? So I think like the consistency in, in, in presenting your art to the universe is important because you don't know Lovely. who's watching. You know? Lovely. And Lovely. the consistency behind it. Bro, mm. that one like, that could be... But I'm a big name. Bro, that could be Ramaphosa. I'll be like, <laughs> hey, my bro. Chad, I love this video you shot. Come work for me. That one like, you know? 100%. So people... I always, yo, bro, and I actually, like, I did this thing on my, one of my notes, like, for, for one of these ads that we are shooting for, for, for my brand, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to, this one, it's like being authentic, basically, okay. like, a lot of people, everyone thrives for acceptance these days, when I talk about, you know, the yeah, consistency yeah, 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 in presenting yeah. your art yeah. to the universe, you know, wanting to fit in, be seen, doing things out of the norm, because now they see, okay, yes. Chad, you popping, you yeah. Queen. Yeah. Now I need to do something. Yeah. You know, to yeah. that level, but which is not me. Yeah. But just to just you know, attract movement, that acceptance, movement. the likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. and I say like doing doing things out of the norm just to go viral. Yeah. Bro, for some shares and some likes. Which is bro and, and that is a sad thing, bro. Like the mentality and people and like artists or whatever, but they are they 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 seeking the acceptance, you know, the shares, the likes, and that takes away from your 
un what is authenticity ya si dari metrik ya metrik selain just 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 my red lake look at me now phone find the one yeah i don't think like 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 Yeah, the society craves the acceptance, which is sad, bro. And I feel like I'm always um, I'm always a a a a sucker for creatives that's authentic, you know, to themselves. Because I feel like um, Ronaldo, Messi, like you know, if we if we we play in football, bro, like everyone is footballers, but Ronaldo and Messi, you know what I'm trying to say? (laughs) So yeah, bro, and and it works. And same thing in art, like the consistency within delivering. Um, that standard Yeah bro And just putting your stuff out But it doesn't end there bro That's the thing mm. It's not all about The social media That's when it comes To the work ethic 100% You know 100%. What are you putting this Out to Facebook But okay shop I have an email Why can't I send it To a few brands Yo this is what I'm doing Check it out in your attachment Let me know if you could You know could It's more than just the, if we can Why are we craving The shares and thingy Where we can just yeah. You know Take that same piece of work Drop it in an attachment Send a thousand brands the same email. Check this, bro. This is what I'm, you know. So 100%. that's my. Other, I think the consistency is very important. Bro. If you if you had to sort of if you had to give advice to another DJ, up and coming DJ, right? Mm. And you just talk about the core responsibilities I of an of an artist. What are maybe like three things that you would advise? Um, or any number of things that you would advise okay, this cool. artist. So, if you do three, I'll say talent. Because mm. if you whack, you whack, bro. Unfortunately, mm. like... It is what it is. It is what it is. If you don't have the talent, sharp. Mm. It's whatever stage you're on, if you're playing to 10,000 people, if you whack, unfortunately, you're going to be whack. Um, then again, coming back to research and knowledge, that work ethic, you need that. And then three, bro... The consistency and determination, bro. 100%. How much they actually want this, mm. you know? Because we're looking up to these people, the coffees and mm. the shimzas. They're talking Ladies from like more. a personal level. Um, Virgil Abloh, who's he? As from a designer mm. point of view, like, oh, bro, they're working, you know? They're and hustling. Like, and Ken. that that is mm. the, the 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 consistency and determination you need. Unfortunately, that that is the three vital things that I will tell someone. Hundred percent. And that I'm still working. I'm not 100%. success. I'm not saying I'm not where I want to be. Hundred percent. No, we're talking in the down work. on someone. Yeah. But if I could advise 100%. someone with with the knowledge that I have, hundred percent, which is doing good for me, that's what I will say. Hundred percent. And and I mean like the conversation that that we shared along the way has always been sort of to this nature and. What I loved about you, bro, is besides like your work ethic and your passion, whenever you talk about your music, you know, you're very passionate, um, is the fact that you still give of yourself to others. Like I see you, you know, with Dale, you know, and Restoring Hope, who does amazing work. Um, and we were, I was fortunate enough to, to, to throw a show with, with, with Dale, um, you know, to, to raise funds for his project. Um, and amazing work Dale's done. So shout out to, to Dale Hendricks. Um, I, I see you uh, collabing with Dale, you know, like feeding kids and stuff mm. like that and like gi- giving like stationery. Like, yeah. you know, it's so nice to see someone of your age and, and your success like doing that. It like really inspires me personally, brother. So like well done for that. Where does, where does this come from, your sense of giving and your... Mm. I think also like um, the people, there's, they, there's a saying that says, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. I've had, like, five friends, like, real friends, like, for, like, <laughs> my entire life. Yeah. And Dale, Devin, Mikhail, them being one of, um, a few of them that's still part of my life, part of my business, yeah. you know. So, Dale manages me, basically, yeah. um, and we do business work together. So, like, it's not only, like, I cannot say, oh, I met him now the other day, I see what he's doing. Like, yeah. like I, I wouldn't work with someone that... You know, that yeah. is like, even if you're my friend, but I know you some type, like, Oaks really have the heart to do this. 100%. They've been doing this. Your story, Hope, is been doing amazing work without any sponsors. 100%. Financially, the, like, bro, but yes. like, coming from, and that is pure. And like, with me, like, being like, in the arts, fashion, all this stuff, like, our outreach, that's where the NV Africa outreach system lives, is with your story, Hope. They are main partners. Because of the heart that they 100%. have, you know, and that's just the relationship we have as 
firstly, we, myself and Dale, we best friends. Um, and then, yeah, bro. And we learning every single day, you know? And I, I think, like, I'm, I'm blessed to have amazing people like that around me. They are not famous. Yeah. They're not, you know, in these circles. It's genuinely, like... It's just an it's inspiring... Just but it's such an bro, inspiring... Bro, we pull up to these, cl- to these fancy <laughs> stuff and then we, like, dress the way we are. Because that's just us. Like, and I'm not ashamed yeah, to, yeah, 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 to yeah. go out with my friends on... Um, if we pulling up at an all white party, we the ones who's gonna be dressed in all the colors, you know, <laughs> bro. That's who we are. Quite. So like, and that 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 is for life, bro. Like that, I treasure that I have people like that in my life. Hundred percent. He's so, one of the realest guys I've I've ever met him. So uh, yes, so, so so for, so shout out to restoring hope. Like if if there's anyone that that's watching this show, so like, please please, and you f- you have something to give, and you want to give, and you want to help. Check out Restoring Hope. We will put um, the details, um, you know, below. Link in description. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will, be, it will be on the video. We'll make sure that it's on the video. Uh, I said like and subscribe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they, do, they do, they do amazing, yeah. amazing yeah, work. Yeah. I was privileged to actually, I mean, besides the collab that we did for to today's fund for his project, I actually went uh, and helped him with sound. And it was so amazing. I mean, we went to this, like, community center in Bonteville. And I think it was like a Mother's Day. And like, I mean, like they made like lunch and there was like dessert and there was like chocolates and gifts. And then Dale spoke. Um, but it was so, it was so, w- what was so cool for me to see was like people like our age, man. Mm. Like, you know, yeah. um, you know, like living mm-hmm. in a world of, you know, instant gratification and, and you know, where we, where we very, we were very selfish in a lot of ways. Um, you know, and, and, and we don't really consider each other as much as we used to back in the day. It was so nice to see a young person with that type of heart. Also, like, sorry, man, just to get on that. Like, I think with the generation that we are living in, me and Dale was actually having this um, conversation the other day at um, one of the food, uh, the, the feeding um, banks. And we were like, bro, like, people are doing, like, the generation today is doing things just for that Instagram post, just for that, you know? Mm, for that like, for that shit. Yeah, like, like the, the, the heart is not there and, and, and it's actually sad, bro. So we were like, okay, cool, we're not haters. How do we make, how do we make um, the outreach sector look cool to these kids, make it authentic? 100%. Letting them know, like, bro, giving back is actually amazing it's, and it's a really 100%. cool thing. You know, 100%. so that is basically like us as Envy Africa, why we, we partner with the story and hope is that how do we show this, this new generation or even the old generation that, bro, giving back is it's an amazing thing. Like, you don't need to actually um, just do stuff for the gram these days, but actually, like, find that soft spot in your heart. Oh, bro, everyone is not for everyone, unfortunately. Yeah. I've seen people do want to raise funds or donate f- blankets and bro and after that it's done you know <laughs> and like yeah. just because okay yeah, cool got the picture. we see things it's amazing it's cool giving the, back I got the up. picture yeah. yeah so I think I got like the picture. It's, 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 it's a hard thing bro. I think I think yeah I think it's something that's completely real and it's definitely in our DNA because for me personally like when I experience the feeling of so um yeah when i be, when i experience it, it was much warmer in that room <laughs> <laughs> um, when when i when i experienced it bro like it was definitely like yo you just get this mad feeling of fulfillment man and love that mm. just fills the room and appreciation and gratitude and I think what you guys are doing in terms of, you know, Envy Africa and um, Restoring Hope, that collaboration is so vital for the next generation to understand that giving back to our people is of the utmost importance. We are no, each it's, other. It's a need, bro. We are each other, you know. And it's when we start need. seeing each other that way, you know, I think mindsets and belief systems um, are changed for the better. So... Talking about mindsets and belief systems, you really, really have a strong... Uh, you always have the nice balance between humility and confidence. Mm. And, um, you know, like, you're an amazing performer to watch. you like, having a great time while you're playing, you know what I mean? Secure the energy. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, 
where does that where does that humility off stage and that um that confidence come from on stage? Well, I think it's just like being yourself, you know. Like um if I'm not if I'm not somewhere in Africa, I'm still in Cavdo with my homies. So, you know, mm. so the balance of knowing who I am is, is very important. And as we were actually, I, I actually saw some podcast now that there were this other Cape Town Oak. Someone put me on to go check this. And he was like, Oaks was speaking like mad, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, what it is. But we from the plane. And, and I think like just knowing like who you are, is your identity, bro, is and very important. It. And like, I'm blessed that I know who I am as a person. Um, God fearing man. Firstly, you know, also like 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 that that aspect of like having the relationship with with ah, your power, bro. With Jesus is like mm. is is important to me, and you know it's the light to my path. And I I share this with my homies, they know it, you know. And I feel like just being yourself, bro, is 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 and knowing who you are, bro. Because I feel like a lot of people like you you leave your homies behind. Because you influenced when you get to that level, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's sad, bro. So I'm blessed that I'm always, you know, I don't, if my goals is just, you know, um, reaching a certain level, and if I'm happy with it, I'm still with my homies doing a thing. Mm. So yeah, bro, I think, like, that being you if is vital. Chad, wouldn't mean Chad if he's, he's, if he's acting all bougie, yeah? <laughs> if he's yeah, that Chad, yeah. Liam, yeah. you know, I think like, just being you is, 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 important. is important. Yeah, so we dropped the project, um, actually a while back, but I'm still pushing it. I'm still mm. pushing it. So, it's called Don't Create. Mainly title is like, placing emphasis on, on people that's creating, that's hating on the creative I feel like um yeah there's a there's a lot that you can say but the fact that someone is putting in the effort mm. to create something mm. and someone else is just being like nah be mm. you know yeah. so like I feel like don't create if I see you creating something shop you did that you don't need to still, you know? Yes. So that is basically the the, the, the concept the, the concept behind the title is don't create and I feel like <clears throat> so someone creating a project um, and having the opinion on it. The fact that that guy actually put in effort to create something mm. is amazing. So, yeah, be... Do you think... create. <laughs> do you think, like, obviously, we, we, we are in an industry that is creative. We are in an industry that... It boils down to preference. It boils down to the person that's consuming that, um, you know, that form of art. How do we... I think... Because I, th- I don't think... I think, you know, observations and opinions and criticisms uh, is part of our industry. I just think that it should it should be done in a more constructive way. Um, well, me personally, like, as I said, if you whack, you whack, but it's safe. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that, yeah. but somehow... You will find out. You will find <laughs> out. So, I can't... I need to practice what I preach. I don't create. I don't okay. hate on a creative. You know, I, I respect the fact that you... Put in the effort, effort to create something. That is amazing. But if it's good, if it's bad, sharp. Why? So I feel like, um, the, then again, the criticism is how yeah. you take it, bro. And the sooner you realize that you're good at what you do yeah. or you're whack at what you do, yeah. the better. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, and I think it's important that also, like like you said, man, like the people that you surround yourself with plays mm. an important role, specifically when you get to, you know, someone that's on your level and someone that's like, you know, extremely famous because then the people around you, if they're not grounded, if they're not real, they're going to start lying to you. Then and, and I mean, when the people around you who you trust and who, who you really respect and you, you, you know, the, the opinions on Bro, things, if they're going to start I'm lying to you so about, you in studio and you like you that's know the sounds saying. whack and they're like nah good like you, you gotta release this tomorrow bro, bro that's why you know? I, 100% I feel and that's why I say I treasure the people that I'm around cause there's so many times we we um we even see if I'm doing a show bro and the Oaks are like nah B that's not enough that wasn't you what were you doing you know 100%. lacking the energy Oaks is loving it I'm like they're like bro nah 
So I appreciate like the people that I have in my life. I treasure that because that is what I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> There's no yes, man. You know. Yes. <laughs> and I can tell my umi, yo, bro, this is what you're doing at all. Yeah. I don't like that shot. And, bro, yeah. the thing is like. It's all love at the end of the day, like. Mm. So, so I think, yeah, I think what I think w- what we're trying to say, you know, with regards to criticism is, the criticism has to come from a reliable source. I think at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And and when when you know that the source is only looking out for the best interest of mm. you, you know. So listen, listen, bro. Like you actually can't sing, or you know what I mean. True. Then 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 that's really important. So I say, the sooner you get there, bro, <laughs> the better. <laughs> the better. Um, yo, bro, you've you've. I mean, we we nearing the end now of the interview, but uh, let me. I just want to take the time and I say, need like, to you. Get out of here, <laughs> you got to fly, here, bro. Um, <laughs> your joking. your your energy and your your sense of humor. <laughs> it's a very it's a quiet taste. Um, <laughs> no, but you you such an inspirational guy. The talks that we have, I, I honestly cherish, bro. You oh, as thanks a brother, to you, bro. Like, it's not a, I always tell you, we we don't have opportunity. To have these conversations with a lot of people that's um in the the arts industry, um but when we do like I appreciate mm. that we can actually like sit yeah. for like hours hours and have yeah. you know trying yeah. to do better so that's amazing bro yeah bro so and it's it's just been the same thing with you from day one because I remember like when you guys used to take smoke breaks and we st- <laughs> you know we're having that conversation <laughs> I, I, yo you fucking outside this man is still talking yeah. but that's the heart that's the heart that's, that's the heart right Great shot, shot for that, bro. Um, so yeah, before I ask my uh, last question, bro, like, um, where can people find you? Everywhere, be <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, my website www.envyfunk.com. Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> Envy underscore funk on all platforms. Yeah, booking details are up. My well, my performance is up, my music is it's everywhere. So yeah, and I feel like that's one thing you should do these days and ages. Like people need to find you everywhere. Hundred percent. You know, what's uh-huh. your main source? Instagram, bro. Everything is my main source. Unfortunately, okay. bro. Like like Actually. um um, I'm a as a creative, I'm a lover for everything. My, um. I push my work on every platform, so... 100%. Yeah. Okay. So, my last question is, brother, because um, I know you freezing out there. I'm um, joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, kind of woman, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Um, how, do, how do we make the industry a better place? What do you think? What can we do? Bro, that is also something... Okay, cool. <laughs> you can actually talk about... It's like... We were having this conversation with you, like, I had this conversation with not someone that's necessarily an artist, but it's also in the arts industry. But, like, the thing is, people, they call it the industry. They say there's gatekeepers. They say there's this. There's that. Like, I come from 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 a place where, like, then again, we, needed, we had to work for everything mm. that we have. Mm. So hard to know the people we know. Um, I haven't spoken to a gatekeeper or, or to industry leaders, but, but purely of like your work and your art, you know. Hundred percent. And once people like mention industry, it's like you are you are always again seeking acceptance from someone who's in a higher you know, position, higher power. I think so. Release. The, the thought of, okay, this is industry, like, this is the world, bro. 100%. Like, you can well, do anything you want to do. Like, I'm from Cape Town, a boy from, retreat. grew up in Pogwood, in retreat, soon to move to the beach base, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know. You're getting that paper. Next side. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm saying, like, if I could sell shows out in Angola, Mozambique, Namibia, whatever, like... Why? Because I'm not thinking industry. I'm not thinking I need to... um be in someone's circle, I need to get acceptance by someone. It's just purely of like me loving my art and doing what I do. And bro. there's no limits to it. There's no limits. I'm not thinking there's a gatekeeper. There's yeah. like we had the conversation yes. of this guy who's yeah. you know, um for me there's there's no gatekeepers. Like you basically like don't let your situation determine your future basically. 100%. You know, I feel like it's what you do with your art. I'm guys, I'm not talking like um Flipping um, <laughs> Martin Gaddix or someone, but I'm saying like, just like if I'm happy doing what I do on to a level doing what it, on to a level where I'm doing 
what I'm doing. Like, I think, like, it, it, it all comes down to you and how much you want things. You 100%. Know? And, and if you're so, willing to... Bro, the sooner you get that industry mentality away, yeah. you'll see the world, bro. Like... Because the industry is going to limit you. Okay, this is what 100%. the industry is. This is what you can do. You know? This is what we can do for you. Mm. And you're just going to work towards that. So, bro. So you say... You are your own... Bro, industry. you are the, your own industry, bro. 100%. And what you do with your art, like anyone from videographers, from the business creative, in the music industry, from, you know, um, EDM and... First pumping more <laughs> over here. Like you, you basically what you do with, with with your art is. It's is, up to you. It's up to you, B. It's up to you, B. Straight from the horse's mouth. Thank you so much for being your brother. Really, yeah. really, really appreciate that. It was very wise words. Well answered. Bro, thank you so much for actually inviting me. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope we can have you like, back here, bro. And subscribe. <laughs> Link in the description. So, yeah. Bro, I always wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks so much, brother. I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate your friendship. You so I appreciate much. you. Keep doing what you do. Keep shining, bro. Love. Okay, one love. Rock, baby. And it's rock, baby.